as we, we know now for five years that uh, only a small proportion of patients with mini T cell producing interferon gamma, what we call hot tumor patients, will respond to anti pd one therapy. So this may represent 30% in melanoma, maybe less 20% in lung cancer and many other indications. So what could we do for patients with not a hot tumor, tepid tumor, or even a cold tumor when there are no T cell? I mean, it won't make sense for us uh, to use two immune checkpoint blockers instead of one, because if there are no T cell, uh, this is may not going to work. Since this is a new concept, never done before, we started with a low dose, one milligram sub-Q, eftilagimod, just to be on the safe side. I mean, when you push the gas, when, when releasing the brake, could be uh, uh, um, quite difficult. Uh, but we haven't seen any uh, side effects, severe uh, side effects, uh, from one milligram to six milligram and then 30 milligram. So now we are uh, about to start phase two trials in lung cancer, um, first line, second line, but also second line head and neck cancer uh, with this 30 milligram dose together with an anti-PD-1.